welcome to the PR show, A Strong Opinion in a Strong Voice. I want to welcome my special guests, my two favorite couples in the whole world. It's Alexander and Frida, from, <laughs> all the way from Holland. Welcome, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, and yeah, on the same yeah. timeline, it's very unusual because most of my guests are from all over the place, but you guys are, we are from in the same time zone, so that, mm -hmm. that's helpful. Yeah. Okay, today we want to talk about that there is hope to find a real love, true love at any age. And mm -hmm. I think it's a very, very important topic because many, many people are struggling with finding real love. Mm -hmm. Now more than ever because of the pandemic and the isolation, and, you know, all the all kinds of things. But I mean, even, you know, a couple of years now, I would say decades, you know, the society seemed to have been destabilized. And families are no longer in the center of society. So, and of course, every family starts with a beautiful meeting. Couples are meeting and then they get starting to talk and then they just never stop and it continues for a life, lifetime, ideally in an ideal case. But um, it seems like it's getting less and less frequent these days. But you have a different story, don't you? So yes. why don't you, yes. any of you start? How did you guys meet? Well, I, I, I think, I think, my journey to find my woman was not so long as the journey for Frida to find me because she okay. is seven <laughs> so years So you guys were both looking for older. each other, not just one party, but the other party was also looking for each other, isn't it? So I was not so specific looking for a woman, but someday I come in a church and I saw Frida on the stage and we became very good friends. That was the first start. And I never thought it will go further than that. So we were very good friends together. And then one moment, I feel more than friendship. So I visit sometimes freedom. And she was a lady in, um, in the youth group. She was leader of the youth group. So, and what I saw in Frida was a very gentle, friendly, and shining person. So that was the attracting. Very true. In the first moment of my life, and and then then I I I have something from I I I like this woman to have more than friendship, but then she told me about she want to go to Brazil as missionary. Okay. <laughs> and I and I was praying said, Lord, it's not my calling. So maybe it's it's it it doesn't fix. But you know, if you want to give me this woman, then it will be come on a later time. So I let it go. That was my first thing to do. And then I I visit her because she lost her job together with a friend. And I invite her to go with me and my friend to Köln. Excuse me, how old you were? How old you were? 20, 20, 22, 22, 22. So we take her to Köln. And uh, then she asked me during drinking my cup of coffee if I was in love with a girl. I said, yes, I am, but I gave it back to the Lord. And then she know what I was meaning. So that's the first part of our story. She understood you immediately. Yes. She understood yeah. you were talking about her, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I accepted the Lord a long time ago and when I was almost 17. And then in the, in, the, in the years after, somebody said, you have to pray for your future husband already. So, so I was kind of 17, 18, when I started to pray for my future husband. Thank you. Every day. <laughs> every day. I said, Lord, you don't, I don't know where he is, but you know. And uh, I pray for him, keep him, bless him. And um, so I was... Actually, um, I wanted to be married. And um, then I got in contact with the Sisters of Mary in Darmstadt. That was a Lutheran convent. And I thought, 
when I give up everything, even my strong desire to marry, uh, to, if I give it up for Jesus, then I really love him. Mm-hmm. So I started the process to the being a nun. And, uh, but somehow in the process, it, it, it did not, uh, I, I thought this is not it. You know, I, it felt like a prison. So that was, um, so I broke that off. It was like um, breaking off a relationship. How long were you in the convent? Uh, I was not in the convent. I was in the process of becoming a nun. How long did that take? How long did uh, you- that was that was quite a quite a time. Two I years. was twenty till twenty one, I think. 20, yeah, yeah. Two years. Yeah, and um, so <laughs> and I had friends who were nuns in the in the convent here in Arnhem, and one was professed, and I was crying. I, when she was professed as a bride laying there as a bride for Jesus. So um, it, it took me a long time to get over this. And you, uh, you felt like you wanted to be in her place. You felt like this is yes. your calling. That's why you were crying. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And um, because, because I was in love with Jesus, and I, I, I just wanted to give everything. But I, this convent in the Marine Schuster Schaft in, Dort, in Germany, it was not right. So I went on with my life. I was not. I was not very happy. <laughs> and then I, 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 uh, I met Alexander in the in, after a long time in this uh, youth group, and um, somehow I, I discovered that he was in love with me, and I was really shocked. Yes, because because I, uh, I was uh, almost eight years uh, elder than he than he okay. was. <laughs> and, and the story of, of my family was that my mother was eight years uh, older than my father and my grandmother was eight years older than my grandfather. <laughs> so I did not want to continue that role. <laughs> <laughs> it was something new. <laughs> yeah, did, you, did you feel like it, it makes any difference? Did you feel like it has any significance? Who was who's older and how many years? No, well, I, I was acting probably younger than I was. And, uh, she's still acting younger than she yeah, is. Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that was not a problem when we met. And I, no. I really liked him. And uh, I, I was the reason, uh, one of the reasons that he really got baptized. And uh, That's right. Yeah. And uh, so we started a kind of deep friendship, right? Yeah, a very yes. deep, good friendship. Yes. yes. And then I found out he was in love with me and I wanted to go to, to be a missionary. I was always in the extremes, actually, at that time. <laughs> so Did you ever participate, have you ever participated in a mission trip before? Um, I went to Poland then, because that was the moment Alexander saw me on the, on the, on the stage. Uh, yeah, she came back from, yeah, and it was my we, first visit in the church, the second first visit in the church. So wow. that was behind the Iron Curtain. That was really a something, yes. you know? And uh, so, uh, and I went to Italy. Yes. Because you went to Italy too. Yes. Yeah, south of Italy. So, um, and then I, I wrote, I, I read this book about, a missionary in Brazil, and I thought that's what I <laughs> that's want. the most primitive um, way of being a missionary. <clears throat> and uh, and then Alexander came with this um, with this look that he. <laughs> I thought, oh my lord, he is really in love with me, and that was well, that was a short struggle, but I, I, uh, I loved him already, so. So we, I decided to go on this adventure with him. So it was a natural transition from friendship to a relationship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that what that 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 made our relationship very strong, because we were already very good friends. Yes, of course. And we still are. Yes, you are. So how yes. many years now you have? Uh, in March, we are forty-four years. Forty-four years. Yes, yeah, but we know each other uh, since 1975, and when we have uh, this stronger relationship, 19, 
76 yeah. in September 1976. So that is uh, 46 years. Now. 46 years. Yeah. And 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 you know before I decide to ask Frida, I asked the Lord, what is her purpose and what is my purpose? It was not so strong as I say it now, because you are young and you think, well, we'll fix it together. Uh, she she wants to be in the missions and I not. I thought, well- You were a businessman. At I time. was a big businessman yes. on that time. Yes. So I had other things yeah, to do. Yes. So, and I don't want to um, interrupt her lifestyle According, to yeah. serving the, to interrupt your calling yeah. to serve the Lord. So that was my first thing. I don't want to interrupt that, you know, um, and, and, and uh, Donna and Yvonne, Pastor Donna and Yvonne taught from the first marriage course, many people have romantic ideas about marry together and but but she thought it's 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 necessary to know the calling of your spouse of so that you can uh, be strong together and uh, go further in life mm -hmm. it's not only have kids and a house and a dog <laughs> or a horse <laughs> No, 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 we haven't. No we haven't been dog now. But but you know, we we say in Holland, um, house, uh, house, uh, animal, house, tree, and and animal. animal, kids and kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so that was my first. So and then 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 in 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 Köln we discovered together that that we in love together, yeah. and then our first prayer was if this is okay. The church will be happy with our yeah. agreement, and that was the second thing. And many people were very positive in mm. their in their response. Except your mother. Except my mother. Really? What happened to the mother? The mother was jealous. I was the eldest son, and yes. I was all for her. Okay. In our first marriage. So, I was from the first marriage, and this is her second. Oh, she, she did not like me. Oh. And that makes something, yeah, yeah. Then you have to be in love together and strong together to, yes. to follow yeah. the course, you know. To show a united front. Yes. Yeah, yes. Well, so that, did that, she try to manipulate you guys away from each other or separate, separate, oh, yes. like yes. separate yes. you guys? Yes. And that was for Many me times. a learning process. Wow. A choice. How make you choices yeah yeah this very uh... but it only made you guys stronger and more resilient right oh yes, oh, yes it did. <laughs> <laughs> how long did she go on with this oh the her whole life yeah, yeah. no yes. yes yes we tried to speak to her and then it was a journey of forgiveness for me all the time <clears throat> You did it one and, wonderful for and we ended up helping her when she was really really um, sick and uh, we were in the in the hospice with her and we and so so the, the end was glorious for me yes actually and, and, I, and I had a victory over over it all and 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 I think for her too because sometimes she asked her questions in the room huh so like, I was a little about bit about God I assume about God yes. Yes. She yes. wasn't saved. I, I take it right. Well, she was sa she was saved, but she did not. She did. She did not have the lifestyle of being okay. saved. And no. uh, okay. So so uh, actually, the last the last year, I was her pastor. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. And she accepted you by then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did she, it it yes. was wonderful. Did she, did she actually confess? Yes, she, yes. She's, um, there was one moment she said, I'm so afraid I have to die alone. And I said, we pray now in the name of Jesus that there will be some, somebody with you when you die. And that happens. Yeah. It, it happened, yeah. Yeah. It happened. It, so, it was a nurse, but you... Okay. Yes, it, it was a... Well, so that, that's the first start of our journey. And then we, we married together. Yeah. 
Swedish teacher. I, I am a businessman and... Uh, I got pregnant right away. You pregnant. <laughs> Yes, right yes. away. And then you follow your course to raise up children. Five. Five children. Yes. How many grandchildren? Uh, eleven. Eleven now. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. That's beautiful. Yes. 11. yes. That yeah. is beautiful. So that, yeah. that in and of itself in today's world is a, is a beautiful testimony. It is. Just the fact that you guys even stayed together. You had a beautiful family together. And you know you would never regret that decision. Not no. even for a second. Yeah. No, never. <laughs> because today it seems like, I mean, the last few decades, if you look, like even if people stay together for two years, that's like a marathon. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Usually they don't stay together for long at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then they seem to be regretting that decision for the rest of their lives. But that's not your story. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. due to the Lord that you guys were rooted and grounded in the love of the Lord first. Yes, that's for each other. So yes, that's recipe, right. If we can can say it this way, the recipe seems to be that you have to be rooted and grounded in the Lord first. And that, that is that is so important. Leads you to the right person. Yes, that yes. is so important. Yeah, yes, and because some some people weren't free because I was a young believer and she was an older believer, experienced. So 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 <laughs> so to say, and then they was concerned if it was. Uh, real real for it for was. me but i was i met jesus and i told him if you really exist i want to understand my entire bible that was for me yes. a miracle because i saw all people showing the <laughs> chapters go, wow that's <laughs> something you know yeah. and 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 then then i I have always strong relationship with the Lord and free the two. And, and that's, of course, the next thing. If you are come together, give each other room to grow. To grow. Don't be too, 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 uh, sometimes not too close. Let yeah. somebody give yourself experience. Give room. Give each other this. Yes, and that's it's very important. That's, that's very necessary in a relationship. If you've plans that you set together too close, it's you it's choke each other. Plans. You choke each other, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, it was not easy in the beginning because Alexander came from a family where he yeah. was abused. Mm -hmm. So um he had um, the wounds of it of yeah. still. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so for me that was not easy, but I did not want to leave him. I, she did, I a, she did an, an, an amazing job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and 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 for me it was also a hardship too because you want to be the man for your wife, uh, blinking, uh, strong. strong, and without spots, you know, with, without anything wrong, you know, but that isn't. Of course. So it was for me also an adventure to accept what it is yeah. on that moment yeah. and see the adventure that things going on the other way than she had, mm. than she ex expected in the first yeah. years. So we had we had a lot of hardship in the beginning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And and all this while your by your mother and your mother-in-law was against it and worked against your relationship yeah. yeah so how did you grow in that process frida you mentioned that you have grown tremendously in that process yes yes uh uh first of all for for me it was uh, it, it was very important to keep forgiving her uh it was also uh for me to um to keep alexander in the in the relationship to to protect him to be with him to stay with him uh, no matter what and to take care of the family of course of course and you have your children yes you did yes and me also. i stopped working and i i took care of the kind of yeah, the children. children yeah wow and 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 uh, when, when i come home i help i help Frida with with the children to go to bed and all that stuff, you know. And, and Alexander did not have much education because he was always helping his mother in the, in the business. And finally, he stopped that too. So um, 
he he had a, a job where he had to work very hard and with low income so it in the in the first years it was not easy but we were very happy together but yes yes, yes. And, and, and and to stop with the business of my mother was an it was my decision because i saw if i go on with the business of my mother she will interrupt in our influence our yeah. in of our course. relationship so i told my mother i finished with this i'm sorry for you but but it can't yeah. and that was the decision to go further and stronger with me <laughs> Yes. You guys were already married at the time, right? Yes, 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 wow. we were. Yes, we were. So what was your mother's response to that? Hmm. We broke off for two years. Yeah, but that was later. Yes. But okay, she have never un understand it. I, I understood it. I have tried to explain it. And then the common situation, then, then you say to yourself, let it go. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sometimes we have we have people in our lives who don't realize who we are and where we're going. Yes, yeah, so they try to hinder us, isn't it? And and so and we do love everybody, but some people we have to love from a distance, isn't it? Yes. yes. So I so I so I love her, but she was number one. And yeah. that's for her. Mean, that what the Bible very says clear. that you marry to the person and then you and you hold on to her and to him not to your own family the one that you grew up with yes yeah. so that's yeah. a very biblical example and that seems to be working because here you are 46 years later still going on strong <laughs> yes and, and 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 you can use this in any situation it's, it's not for nothing that 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 is in, in in the word of god is written a man shall leave his home exactly never a woman will leave her home it's always the man will leave his home there's something Something about the mothers trying to hold on to the man, isn't it? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's right. all about love. <laughs> so, or and, need. Or need. So, and <laughs> and, and also in other relationships with this, this leaders in churches, it's always to be strong together and to look in the word of God. What says the word? Yeah. We always go back to the world yeah. always in every situation yeah, and we still there. now of course of course and what and what happened to your vision frida regarding the missions yeah i heard you guys I the charges <laughs> recently <laughs> what's happened frida <laughs> well you didn't have to really give up your dream after all because god gave it to you in a different way isn't it <laughs> yes so so um um i was i was always praying for the whole world. I, I had a long list of, of, of uh, intercession points and I was praying for the whole world. And somebody said to me in that time, you have to have a vision for one country. And I said, I can't, I love the world. <laughs> <laughs> but I finally- uh, Well-meaning uh, Christians, sorry to interrupt, but it seems yeah. like that well-meaning Christians say something contrary to what the word of God yeah. says. They need to go back to the word of God and see yes. that whatever they're trying to suggest is in fact contrary to the word of God. Mm -hmm. But I feel that God, It's possible that God gives you a vision for one country but you cannot limit yourself off the bat because you have to have one country in your heart. That's, I mean, nobody in the world that would say that, is it? No, that was a religion. Yeah, seems like but it. Finally, we <laughs> I choose one. <laughs> I'll tell you something funny, because I remember, it's a very well-meaning Christian. I was in my teenage years and I spoke English already. And of course, coming, coming from a communist country, actually at that time, we still had socialism here. So I was very good with languages. So I took like nine, actually eight languages, nine would have been my first, my uh, mother, mother tongue. But uh, I was very interested in languages and no one knew when or how or if ever the Iron Curtain would go down. Mm -hmm. And I remember that people's mindset was so narrow, but mine was always for the world. And just, just when you said something about that, it triggers something because I, it's a long time that I, I thought of it. But I remember this woman and she was, I was in my early teenage years. I, I would have been like 13 or something. And I, I, get, I probably I would have said something about you. I want to go to the world and be a missionary or, you know, just travel around the world and you read the gospel mm -hmm. that is not for vacation. And I remember her very well, meaning uh, she must have been in her 20s. 
and she told me that Reka, the reason why you were born, God made you born in Hungary so that you would stay in Hungary. <laughs> oh, yeah, like now, I'm like, how can you even think such a thing? I hope since that she changed her mind because I haven't heard from her since. But I remember this unique sentence that I thought, my goodness, it's so nonsense. Mm -hmm. But it sounded logical, especially to an impressionable teenager from an old coming from an older woman. And she loved me dearly. But mm -hmm. honestly, she thought that why would you want to go to the world that God wants, but that God apparently must want you here because you were born here. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case, is it? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> no. And I always said, Lord, here am I, send me. Yes. <laughs> Somehow I had a feeling he did not, he did not want it, you know. Yeah, well, we try. And then, and then I had a, my, my best friend, uh, was in uh, YWAM in Youth for the Mission, and so they had, I. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they had a vision for uh, Northern okay. Africa. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So we, uh, I started to pray of, uh, for this for these countries. I knew every tribe, every every language by that time where they lived. Uh, the whole the whole uh, uh, map I I knew, and I prayed for all those people, and then finally. We started off when, with our five children to make a trip to to make a trip to, to Morocco by car. Wow! With a, with a tent in the uh, on top of the car, we never uh, camped before. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> was it a mission trip or was it just yes? A, yes, it was. Actually, yes, it was. It was actually a prayer, a, pr a uh, and, prayer, and, and prayer, an intercession prayer. And, and intercession. Because in Morocco you could not uh, evangelize. So we had five children, two boys, three girls. The, 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 the youngest was one year and we went with a normal car, not a, not a van. Uh, all the way th through Europe to Morocco. My and goodness, how long, how long did the drive take? For four four days to Maroc, yes, and then we enter. Uh, four days, no, three days. Three days. Yes. Okay. We did it in three days. Okay, three days. Yes, and then. And I'm then, good driver. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, to, <laughs> me too. I was. Oh yes, yeah, of course. Exactly. <laughs> yes, you did. And uh, so it was a big adventure. We went all the way to El Jadida, so that was south of Casablanca, yeah. on a camping mm -hmm. with a group. And then we came back. Um, one of our, well, our eldest son was really sick when we, when we drove back, but we made it. And did then- Did you get something in Morocco? Yes. He did. And then um, the pastor said, but we have we have been talking with our pastor about this, and they blessed us when we went. But then he said, uh, "Okay, now you're back. I want people like you in my church. So <laughs> of course, be prepared to be an elder." <laughs> and we were left, we were really shocked, <laughs> right, Alexander? Yeah, first and deacon. Oh yeah, first deacon, of course. But okay. Yeah. It's a long story, but but um, yeah. So he, he did. We wanted to go with youth of the mission, and and they uh, refused to give uh, good references, so we could not go, go. And then started a whole. I was I was devastated, really broken. They gave you a bad reference. Yeah. No. No. No reference. No, no reference yeah. because no it's reference a, is a bad reference, really. <laughs> if I give, I give. If I have to write a letter, I can't only say good things about that couple. But that's he, what they said? Yes. That's, what that's, he why, said. that's why then? Yes. He, he wow. said, I only can good, give good reference, but then I, lo I, I, uh, I lost you. And, and, and we were very smart. We, we had two plans for him. One, we go to Wyvern, two years and three years serve the, uh, the church or uh, first two tired two years serve church and three years to mine but 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 anyway it was over 
So then I was devastated and I... But, uh, uh, excuse me, why would they say that they could only say bad things about you? It doesn't really make sense. Yeah, only, good, things, good things. Good things. About good things. Only good things. So maybe this part, do you have to, we have to do it again? Um, I, I don't I don't know if I understand. Sure, we can we can edit it, but I still don't understand. No, yeah. So you wanted to go, if I understand, you wanted to go on full time mission, and yeah. Yeah. you needed a reference letter from YWAM. Yes, yeah. And, but they and, were not going to give it to you because. No, we had to have a, a reference letter from, from the pastor. Oh, the pastor. Yes. Okay, so and if the mm -hmm. if the pastor would have given the letter. They would have taken you immediately because you guys are so good. Yeah, yeah. of course. So he didn't want to give a reference letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, it yeah. makes sense. He yeah, to he give us. It, didn't, it didn't. Okay. I didn't. I'm sorry. No, no, it's just my. <laughs> no problem. But it's, well, it makes sense we, now. Finally, we, we, we broke up with the church. They really wanted to keep you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Well, we not broke. Uh, yes, we immediately no. it, it takes oh, an, after a year. an year because we want to give him a chance because you are connected with your church with all the things yeah. around you we were youth leader so there was something to do you know yeah, we were leaders in the and we uh, we did a lot of things in the church but okay then we leave yeah and then uh, and then uh, i developed uh, pain in my body as a result so they said it was fibromyalgia and that uh, went on and on we had uh, five children so it was hard to do the the, the household of course uh, I, I took a lot of pills to to, to for the pain and then uh, Finally, after seven years, I was in a wheelchair. I didn't even know that. Okay. Yes. So when was that? How many years ago? Or how old you were at the time? I was 42, I think. Okay. 42. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, you could walk, but, but you need a wheelchair I know, yeah. to have more yeah. uh, to move around. So, more transport. So um uh that that ended up in a in a really very 14 years of really trouble struggle no church another church that didn't understand me so that was really really a hard time yes so for 14 years you were struggling with this illness yeah, yeah. from 1987 yeah. so, so yeah, yeah, and then for years. 40 years and the last seven years, I really had to to use a wheelchair. So um, yeah, um, and then um, I was at that time uh, in the in the uh, uh, women's glow, mm -hmm. and uh, somebody prayed for me from Australia, a lady, and um, and then she called me after two weeks and, and she said, I, I was wondering how, how are you? And I said, well, today I, ha I asked Jesus to help me through the day because I've, I'm in so much pain. And then she said, Jesus helped you 2000 years ago already. And that came like a lightning yeah. into my spirit. <laughs> Amen. I, of course I knew that, but I, I needed, needed to hear it fresh. Yes, it is. I, I've been in two meetings of Dr. Charles and Defon. He, he was not called, it was Charles and Defon that time. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? That was uh, 20 years ago. In the 90s, the late 90s. Wow. Late 90s. Yes, in, in Amsterdam. And, uh, uh, but I, I just could not believe it. I mean, I just couldn't, there were, there were reasons. You know, they, they, I was, I was there with a wheelchair and they said, Marty High, I said, you, sweetheart, you don't have to be in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And, and Apostle Charles said to me, he was very young at that time. He said, uh, what is the problem? I said, fibromyalgia. And he said, oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
and then and then the, all the people were cheering because I was coming out of my wheelchair, but that was not a problem. I could, you know, I felt I felt so awkward because I was not the lame that was standing up out of the wheelchair. I yeah, could yeah, walk. Yeah, mm -hmm. they didn't. They didn't know. They couldn't have known your story. No, and 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 we went out because we had to go earlier, and then. Um, uh, uh, we went there with a the, with the wheelchair, so uh, folded, and then the whole, um, all the people, all the whole crowd started shouting. Yeah. And I felt so awkward because I, th that was not a problem, you know, that yeah. I could yeah. walk. So I said to Alexander, don't think I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, well, no, I no, no we're laughing, but it's in decision. Now we understand it's in decision of yes. your, you know. But I always remember that sermon about look unto the Lamb. He took your uh, infirmities. He yeah. took your sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always remembered it. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. that lightning came of Jesus helped you 2,000 years ago, that, then the seed was activated. Yes, exactly. So for two years, I said, uh, every morning under the shower, I said, Jesus took your, um, your sickness it, and I blessed my body with it. Yes. And after two years, it was gone. Yeah. So for two years consistently, you had to confess the truth yes. to yes. yourself. Yes. And then after that, it was just simply gone. Yeah, well, I, ha I had a therapy, I had a, a psychologist, I translated her work, she came from New Zealand, and she gave me counseling because I was in a victim uh, situation, so I had to, to break with that. Not always, sometimes. And we were... <laughs> <laughs> I like your dynamic. <laughs> and, and we got a little dog, so I had to walk. And yes, that was wonderful. All that together in two years, I, I had to, I had to be, uh, I had to go to a doctor to get rid of all the, the wheelchair and all the the, the, the sticks and all, <laughs> all the things. And uh, uh, so she had to examine me, and she says, "Madam, you are really uh, an example for people who get out of this." Wow. She was so surprised. Yes. Did you tell her what you were on? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yes. And confirm that this is the right course of action. That's what you should be doing. Or she said, you know what? I never seen anything like this before. No, she did not see. She no. had not seen anything like this. So that's not the power of suggestion. It's not the power of self suggestion. No, it, it has to be something miraculous. It was. It, no, no, with self suggestion, you cannot. You only get sick with self-suggestion, but not better. Yeah, not better. <laughs> what is I'm glad we made that point to the audience. It's not <laughs> self-suggestion in the showers. No, it's no, no. Of Jesus and that you yes, accept yes. that this is for yes. yourself. Right. Yes. Right. And the seed right. that was planted in your heart two years prior to that and yes. activated or whenever it was activated by that phone call you received. Yes. Yeah. And that's what made that and you accepted it that's what made yes it and 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 for me during the 14 years I, I make it short was for me necessary to keep in love this this lovely lady and to encourage her time after time after time and uh, because she felt uh, yeah guilty guilty sorrow for me because I had a difficult uh, use, et cetera, et cetera, and said, don't say that. I am now for you mm -hmm. in, the, in all the times. <laughs> so don't say, go, go to another woman. Don't <laughs> say that again, because she, she said to me, take another, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, useful for you. I said, don't say that anymore. I miss you, I stay with you. And um, that's it. Mm -hmm. So that's I always love her 
encourage her. Yeah, you did. And of course, you make sometimes mistakes. Of course, that's all always life, you know. But 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 not a mistake. So, you, so your vow when you made at your wedding day, your your wedding vow said in yes. sickness and in health, and you yes. said right. Yes. Right. So th that was always yes. what I was thinking. I have promised her, and it was not heavy to do that because yes. it's it's the you love who her. it's the love who makes you flying. You know, it's, yes. it's 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 love. It's not that I promise her. You know, it's 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 helpful, but it's not the bottom line. Ah. It's it's my love for her and my commitment to her. Yes. Well, you, you also, did a lot of also. You 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 did a lot in the household. You did the the, the shopping. You yeah, yes, it you, is. you were there all the time after work. Yeah, but our children didn't could not cope with this. So uh, yes. that was also when they became teenagers. That was a really hard time. We have very five very strong, beautiful children <laughs> with their own op 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 opinions. So we have to handle of with it. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you handle it? How did you explain it to them? How did you handle that situation? Yeah, yeah. How did we, how did we? They saw our struggle. Yeah. And uh, we talked about it and they had their own struggle because of that. And um, because they always had to help. I, I, I think this wisdom of the last 10 years is Apostle Charles and Germany. I think we did some things different in the past, but okay, it's we have tried to ex explain to our children and to be there for them for bell belly lessons or or uh, football or something else, you know. There were always opportunities to bless them too, you know. It's, it's not only a an, an mother who struggles with her. No, but her they also we have also nice times is christmas yes, and yes. also new and so we make parties they, they probably wanted yeah. to help you in one way or some ways but they didn't know how to help so that must oh, be right to yeah, yeah. Oh, right. must have been that thing or feeling of helplessness from that part yes yeah. that was it and 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 that ended up in rebellion for for ex especially the boys <laughs> how many boys do you have two two, two. Yeah. very strong men now yes yeah one of them um, is, a, is a filmmaker and one of them is a businessman very successful he, he has a house in austria also so I, he has three houses now yeah mm -hmm. so, yeah but but but, but it's, it's to keep in touch together and to follow uh, together and to uh, f uh, follow your uh, purpose too and 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 for me it was always to have people around me to encourage people to get them on on trail and in, in the churches we did in, a lot of in, in the church we did a lot of pastoral care pastoral yeah. care praying for the sick always then you mean that time? During the that 14 years is that what you're saying yeah yeah during the 14 years you're actually ministering to others yes. while you yourself were in, in yes in, yes we did yes we that's did. wonderful yes yes we did because most people would turn inwardly and they would probably become bitter and they would probably just feel sorry for themselves but you actually reached out yes yes because jesus gave me so much freedom so i thought well i have a, a woman on 14 years about this and I, I, I told my father in heaven and Jesus, I keep it. I, 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 I take it. Uh, you give me so much freedom, and this lovely lady give me so much joy in my life. So we go through it. Mm -hmm. We go through it, and 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 I never blame God or Jesus or the world or so. So I, I, I was trustful. You are focusing on things you to be grateful for. Yes, supposed yes. things to be feeling. Yeah. Count, count, count your blessings. Count your blessings. Exactly. And, and we said uh, that was in a in a in a in a church service one one day. We said, "Okay, Lord, if I never get out of the wheelchair, I will still, um, I will still uh, serve you." Yeah. Right. But I got out of the wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> 
So did it happen from one day to the next or you just suddenly felt like you're energized, you're full of strength? No, that, that was a process of two years. You felt better and better every day? Better and better, yeah, stronger and stronger. I remember one day I went out here in the neighborhood near the river and I had to climb over um, a fence, hatch, a fence, fence, fence. and I, I could do it. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was so amazing, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And, 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 and then she become totally healed. And then we have to um, cope with that. <laughs> cope with that because she was going everywhere. Of course. Because yeah. she was always at home. So, so people around me said, oh, what is the drive? She's too busy. What's her drive? <laughs> said, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> she has to be have a lot 14, to make up 14 for years. Let her go. Let yeah, her go. Exactly. That's always what I told people, let her go, yeah. of course. Enjoy, enjoy life. And when she's tired, she come home. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So That's we, it. <laughs> so we started healing rooms after that. Yeah, we started uh, healing in, rooms uh, in Arnhem. We came, we came in contact with healing rooms and then uh, we started the healing room in, uh, in Arnhem. Uh, wow. 2002, 2003. We, we were serving a church at that time yeah. also. Yeah, yeah. And- uh, Healing room is wonderful. 2003, four. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We did for eight years and then and time lost. And yeah, and then we did it again. at home and then we had another healing room. And uh, and in the meantime, we went to India and Pakistan together. Yeah. 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 So, so did you and, and, uh, we went with an organization who was called Touch, Reach and Impact the Nations. And uh, there's nations is always mm -hmm. on our of course. Well, with them, we went to Pakistan in a small group. Yeah, yeah. small group. Yeah. It was amazing. It was amazing. And I was so thankful I could, uh, I could do, uh, I, I could do it. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and then to India twice, and then I came back sick, and I um, did this. What happened? I had, I had, uh, I had a, a, a bacteria or a virus that um my kidneys were not working anymore oh, did you get something in india yeah yeah uh, food or something first diarrhea severe diarrhea and then my kidneys did not work so i ended up in the hospital and then they discovered i had a, a kidney cancer uh, that was actually uh well it was uh, it was a uh, um they found they found out it was not the, the the virus was not a cause of it. I had it already, probably because I had been taking so many pills in the past. Ah, oh, okay. so that means uh, kidney. Because afterwards, uh, they they removed the kidney, and then I I could not take. I was forbidden to take those kind of medicines. Of course. So that was my that is my 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 conclusion that it was. I've been I've been taking so many pills. Really. Of course. And they removed your kidney and now you're fine, even without any kind of medicine. Yeah, they discovered it yeah. was uh, there was two centimeters uh, of good uh, tissue around it, so it was not as bad as they thought. Okay. So, um, so they just took some part of it. They they took the whole kidney. Oh. Yeah. But that was inside of the kidney. It was like this, okay. as, uh, uh, a lump. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and, and then we go further and we met Martina Zerger in the Netherlands. Yes. And then we what met... What year was that? That was 2012. 12. Yes. 2012. And then we met her and she talked about the man of God. And she had immediately Suddenly, Charles in her picture. Her. That was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> she had it. Suddenly, Not me, she this, did it. I saw this young black man standing there in Amsterdam but, on the stage. But her speaking attracts both of us. Yes. And that's always strong together. We always have the same vision about the Lord, about the word, about healing, about kingdom, you know? And that's strong. Yes. And then we, uh, yeah. Well, because the, the Lord always took us to something new and was happening. Yeah. Like 
the, the John Wimber thing and and uh, the Toronto movement. It, yes. it all came to the Netherlands and the Lord took took us yeah. there. Also in, in Hungary. I was involved with both of them. Yeah. <laughs> we have seen all. Yeah, we have, haven't we? John Arnott and the, and his wife. Yeah, and all that. Yeah. We're hungry and we stay hungry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So in Hamel Hempstead, we met them again. We met also Andreas. Yeah, yeah. And then they invited us on the fifth of December to go to um, to go to Hamburg and meet uh, Apostle Charles. He was there. Well, and so then our, our children were, were were already out of the house, of course. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, and 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 then I met Apostle Charles, and I told Fred, I have a very crazy I I ID, and she said, please tell. So maybe we have to uh, every two months go to Germany to take the blessing to the Netherlands. Every month, you said. Oh, every, every month, I said. <laughs> I said you are crazy. You said you are you are crazy. She told me. <laughs> but but okay. Long story short. But how, have, how many hours for you to drive to? Four and a, four and a half five, five hours. Yeah. Drive. Five hours one way and five hours back. Yeah, that's yeah. a long distance in Europe. In the yes, States, it, it would not be a long distance. It would be like shopping we, we, distance. But in yes, Europe, just, we have a different mindset, don't we? <laughs> yeah, yes, we have because it's not the Africa. Swiss are the worst. I must say, the Swiss are the worst because their country seems to be the smallest. And to them, to drive even one hour, that seems to be a long distance. So <laughs> I understand that every country in people in every country have a different mindset depending on how big their country is. Yes, right. That's how they think about distances. In, in Holland, it's one and a half hours drive is a, is a lot. <laughs> oh, is it? Then <laughs> <laughs> we are at the other end of the country. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and, and then we met Apostle Charles, of course, and, and yes, and still now, till now on, and it will be stay on forever, what he is teaching, but also who he is and who yeah. Donna is. And who you are. Who all of you it's, are. <laughs> it's not all, all, only that two people, but the whole family. The whole family. It's, so you it's just amazing. went with Apostle, with Dr. Charles and Diffon. You just went with him and uh, with a smaller team to Africa for months. Yes. Yeah. So you want to tell us something about that trip, something that stood out very much? Yes. What yes, stood out? What stood out for you? Everything's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One oh, miracle yes. after the other. What, <laughs> yeah. what's, what, stu what stood out? One of the things that stood out for me was the meeting, the press conference with the pastors in, uh, mm. in, in uh, Bujumbura, Burundi. They were, uh, they were so hungry to meet uh, Apostle mm. Charles. Yeah. And he told them his story, and then um, they uh, realized he was the son of Theo Osborne. And they started apologizing uh, for, uh, uh, because long ago, uh, Theo Osborne was, uh, wanted to go into, into their country or something. And they refused. The pastors refused. They didn't refused. receive him. They did not receive him. They did not receive him. No. no. What was the reasons, though? I don't know. I don't know. I at that moment when I was there, I I did not even know what was going on. But because, uh, because of the language and because of the traveling and all, and all the style, of so it was hot. And so and quiet and quiet people. Yeah, but <laughs> this, and then they started to ask forgiveness for that, and then they started weeping yeah and that ended up in crying out for a revival so they were on their faces almost mm -hmm. uh pastors the, the in the age of, of our children mostly and and the, the girls were, were weeping in my arms mm. and and um and they were um well uh giving him money and 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 it's not about the money. It was it was honor. It was honor, of course. They showed honor. Yes. Yes. Now, were these the same pastors who refused T. L. Osbert, or were different pastors? They were different. They, they, these were this younger, was the younger yes. generation. There were some elder, elderly pastors, but but most of them were were in their thirties. Thirty, forty, young, young people, young people. For me, very young. <laughs> very young. 
Yes. <laughs> so they and couldn't have been alive when, when TL wanted to approach maybe, me. No. So they probably were not, obviously not the same crowd, but... Uh, but probably they heard about it. Of course they have, yeah. I'm sure yes. They have. And, and, mm -hmm. and some of them, even when the meeting was over, they, they kneeled down when Apostle was sitting there and they, with their, with their head in, in, in his lap, asking for a blessing. It was, it was so amazing. The Holy Spirit was, was just, it was, it was a press conference of the Holy Spirit, not, not, not of Apostle Charles and Dufon. But also how Apostle Charles handled this with so much love and care. Yeah. Yeah. That was for me also, yeah. yeah, it touched my spirit and my heart, how he handled it. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So and, it's, was, and it's always how he handles things. Yeah. So that was the, the attitude mm. of the young pastors and of all the young, even the young people in the pre, uh, of, the, of, the, of the, the pre, other press conferences in the, in the hotel. That, that was such an, such an honor for it. For uh, mm -hmm. Apostle Charles, and uh, and I think that stood out for me. Wow. Yes. And and did they and after they repented and they apologized and uh, received the man of God as someone who sent from God, yeah. what happened? <clears throat> well, th then then there were the, the miracle meetings, and and it ended up in a in one meeting where the power of God came on them. I mean they. They were, the, when, when Apostle Charles says, the fire of God is here, then, then they were all, they were all uh, under the power on the floor. Uh, uh, it was, it, it ended up like this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But that's all because they went ahead and apologized yeah. and they showed honor to whom yes. I was to do. Isn't that what the Bible says? That blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And Amen. you cannot see the God until you accept the one yes. he sends. And that's okay. what they did. And it's very okay. good and it's very wise that they have accepted the yeah. mm -hmm. And they stayed with us till we, they were sure we were uh, over the border to come home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. It just shows the heart of the people and the <clears throat> and why yes. important it is to be on the right foot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be on the yes. right foot with God because otherwise, you know, God can only send a blessing when all these things are dealt with, isn't it? Yeah. Things in the past. The even one. if it wasn't them, it was somebody from their nation. It you was. So I, think, they, I think. Yeah, they stood in the, the gap, and <clears throat> this is the door for God to bless. To I bless believe so. Nation. Yes. Yes, and 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 I can tell many stories about healing, but I was privileged to uh, be also behind the scenes, behind the <laughs> curtains, so to say. So I saw. How gentle Apostle Charles is behind all that stuff because it's not it's not always going fluently, you know. You have not he has issues, but you have to do you have to take some uh, things to go to Congo, to go to Burundi, to go to there, to go did. Yeah. And I have seen how how love is working, how complete he is in Jesus Jesus in him and he in Jesus so uh, what impressed me is how he uh, if I say he operate it makes too short uh, for him it, it's how he handle how he live and how he speak and how he uh, give advice sometimes it's 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 the whole thing you know and and i'm privileged to 40 days to see him on the stage behind the stage yes. between all and that impressed me very much how he handled things and how he speak about people and other people and also when things are not going sometimes as well you can handle this man on the other way but he always say look at this look at that uh, see who this no ego there's no ego. There's no, there was, so if you say an impression of, and all the things we learned in the nine, ten, nine or 10 years, we can practice it in 40 days. That's true. <laughs> yes, 
there's nothing <laughs> like the mission trips and the and the road, as we say. There's nothing like the road to train you. Amen. And all the always... things that you have learned, as you said, all these years, and I can say for the same for my experience that the best training ground is is when you are on the ground. Yeah. So that that this always impressed me how he handle and how he how he is. Example. Yeah, he's a real example, not only on the stage but also behind. Yes. And that's that's the point. That's the key. To be to be who you are, not to bring a show. He never brings show. He's That's always right. who he is. And That's always right. it's real. No, and so I have to respond to because they see that he's real. Yeah. On yeah. and off the stage, on and off camera. Yes, yes. Real. And I have motivation seen it. is always love. And no stress. If if there was reason enough to be have stress. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> <laughs> so, I heard all about that. Yes, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> there were reason enough to be. Oh, I'm like, okay, wow. okay. So it's 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 very very, yeah, yeah. We're and, still and, talking about it, huh? <laughs> and then Eden, he told me, it's not about we rediscovering Eden. He told us once there are sentences in his speech. And that come in my mind. He said, it's not about the healing, it's about to restore. Yeah. Because God restore, um, restore the people, restore the foundations of the earth. Mm -hmm. They can think, wow, yeah. there's more than healing, you know? Yeah. It's restoring. So, it, restoration. yes. And this sentences, you know, and this. Oh, also with, 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 with Donna, and I call him dad after a few years because he is my spiritual dad. Of course he is. But for the here for the things I call him Dr. Charles or Charles and call Donna because it's, I want to, you can send it out for everyone, but they become parents for me. Mm -hmm. That's the That was a decision of my heart. Isn't that what, what Apostle Paul says, that you have many teachers, but not many fathers? Yes. So right. It seems to be what's missing. The missing element is a, is a father. Um, did you have mentors before? Um, yes. Yes, yeah. we had. Yes, not, we have. Not much. Not many. <laughs> not well, you much. probably had many teachers. Did yes. you have many teachers? Yes. So yes. what's the difference? How can you how can you I how can you identify the difference between or point out the difference between a teacher and a father? Well, a father you have in all your situations, and teacher you can decide to take another teacher. But you exactly. don't come ex uh, uh, decide to take another father. Yeah. It's you can have it's many different. teachers, but you can you have only one. Part, and, and, and yes, and, and I was thinking two years long, shall I do, shall I do, because I am 67 now, and and think, can I say yes to him? Because he's <laughs> younger than me. <laughs> but that's many natural. Many around the world, so you would not be the first one. Many people around the world. That, that Even I, older than yourself. So really. That I have, because it's about the spiritual connection, and there is no age in, in the spirit. No. And, so and, of course. And to have a father, I explain it from my own perspective. I am father of my five children, and I'm father for other people many. too. Yeah. What my children also doing, if I degree or not degree, agree, agree, they still my children yes. and I still love them. Yes. Anyway, and if they ask me an opinion, they can have it. Yes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So so you know, I love them and I encourage them, even when they have a way that I say, well, it's not my way, but I encourage them to. Take that way because I know there will become a point they will discover the truth. You yeah, know? exactly. And you give them you give them time and you give them freedom to yes, make course. their make their own decisions. Of course, it's about relation. It's about love. Right. It's not about what they are doing because sometimes a, a, a person told me, "Oh, you are very proud. Proud you." 
son is pastor. I said, no, it's not because he's pastor. He's my son. It's not his pastor. He's my son. <laughs> you know? And I want to add to that is uh, I realized that if I only hear a few sentences on the internet or wherever, <sighs> yeah. I know uh, where the North is again. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, he is my compass. Of course, the word of God is my compass, but the I, uh, I recognize the, the, the voice of my father. Like I said, I always remember that one sermon in Amsterdam. And, and that and was a seed because that I wanted to see definitely. Yes, I was, in, point. I was in the power school and uh, he was talking about that event and he said, you were there guys. And then um, I saw him again, like he was back then in 1999, very mm -hmm. young, very uh, small. Yeah. We were <laughs> <laughs> very big in spirit, very large in spirit. Yeah. And then, and then I, I, I said to him, you look very young that, at that time. And then the Holy Spirit said to me, that was the seed for you, you and, and, and you're here now. So that was the seed why you are here now. Exactly. Yeah. And, and when we speak about relationship, marriage, um, age, this nine years I have discovered age is not a problem not anymore true. for what to do. In the kingdom of God, and right. and that that still makes us fresh to the end. Very true. You know? Because in this time, especially in, in in Europe, in the Netherlands, maybe in your nation too, when you are past sixty-five years, people thought, well, they uh, <laughs> stop working, they stop serving any way the Lord. They have to take time for themselves to uh, take a bike in our <laughs> nation <laughs> to see something nice, you know, to make uh, fun in life. But it's a combination to older, but did are this, these are my golden years. I have discovered, and for you too, these are our golden years to serve the Lord, yes, yeah, serve, to cooperate with the Lord. It's better say than serve him because I have an inheritance. I love this really together to do my father's business. So it takes us fresh, you know? This uh, gives hope um, to go strong to the end. Exactly, because you don't retire from purpose. Hallelujah. You don't retire. It's, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. And of course, yeah. God renews your youth daily. So age is, age is not something that we even consider oh. at all because it doesn't oh. affect us the same way. And if it affects the audience, then they need to consider what the word of God says, that God is the one who renews our strength daily. Mm -hmm. he, mm -hmm. he renews our youth. That's what I think in Isaiah it says. If not, you do your homework and uh, you do your own <laughs> research. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Right. So yeah, because people need to do their own research and they need to come up with their own conclusion. We don't want to force feed them, you know. We just give you the option, you know, you have the Bible and you can stand on it and you will have a beautiful life like you guys have, like I have. And uh you don't retire from purpose. And you guys are as fresh as when you started and your life is as strong as when you started. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to touch back on one point, uh you mentioned the apostle um Dr. Charles and from being younger than you are. And yet you call him Father Ver um, Pastor Don is younger than me, and I call him her mom. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not much. I think like two years or something. But nevertheless, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. It could some, be some, the same age, yes, obviously. Yes, and 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 at first time it feels strange to do that for me, <laughs> but then said, let it go. Dad this, is this one year, dad. one year younger, one year older than me. Apostle is one year older than me. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's like, <laughs> when I call him dad, and then, you know, you, you don't even think about these things because we don't. No, no, no. For, we for don't me, think yeah. age. 
and, and, and to be young and fresh and green in your uh, age is to, to take the words, mm -hmm. to take the spirit daily and, and to, to, to expect new things daily. I yes. think that takes us fresh in our days, mm -hmm. in these days. As long as your spirit is fresh, you're fresh, your body is fresh, yes. mind is fresh. I mean, just for you guys to spend one month in Africa, you've never been there or any of these countries any before. And you went like in a moment's notice, because I remember we were in, of course, in Hamburg discussing the, some of the details. Yeah. And you guys didn't have much time to prepare. <laughs> Trip just came up, you got the royal papers, you got your shuttle, whatever else you needed to, and you just went. Yes. Yeah. And that's in your 60s, you know, or 70s, whatever the case may be. But that's just a, a beautiful thing to tell my audience that, you know, age is not a factor with the kingdom no. of God. No. When you have a purpose, no. just go for it. When God yes. tells you, you're not going to go like on your own. Oh, of the, yes. But when you have a calling and God opens doors, you don't say no just because of the circumstances. No. There could have been so many reasons why you could have been saying oh, no. Yeah. And it's easier to stay home and I don't have this, I don't have that. How about this? I remember you had all these questions. You know, we were asking over about it. I said, well, I don't know. I mean, we just, we can just give you <laughs> yes, <I know. laughs> hope and we can, you know, hope for the best and make, and humanly, we make all the arrangements. But when you get there, you find something, you might find something different and you have to deal with that at the moment. But yeah. that did not stop you guys from going, not knowing the no. exact same things and the certainty and all that. But that didn't, because you had a love. You had a love for that nation, three nations. You went to DRC, yes. that's Congo. You went to Burundi and you went to Kenya. Yeah, it was wonderful. It it was, and you would do it again, I'm sure. <laughs> it started with that weekend. <laughs> it started with that weekend in Hamburg. Yes. And the Holy Spirit really, really touched me very heavily. <laughs> when it, when Apostle Sia says the kingdom comes in power the whole night, I was... The kingdom comes in power. The kingdom comes in power. I was weeping the whole night. Wow. And plan, that was the beginning. Yes, because the plan was, I will go, but she <laughs> will stay home for our daughter but to see, receive her you baby. Guys had, that's right. You need to tell the audience as well. What, what else was going on at the time? Well, yeah, uh, well we were taking care of Alexander's uh, stepmother. Uh, we were, uh, my, my daughter would have... Uh, uh, her baby and so she 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 was due at christmas so uh, <coughs> i didn't want to, to go and we had we had no money <laughs> yeah so you had all kinds of obstacles but you didn't yes. all options it. not to go exactly <laughs> but all the reasons not to go and yet you felt you need to go and god provided anyway yes yes and yes. i was standing there in hamburg together with uh, linda and, and her friend uh, uh, hand in hand, and I was seeing myself on platforms like Catherine Coleman did, healing people, and I thought I have to go to Africa then. Yeah. So we do. So we did. So when you have a vision, God has a provision, isn't it? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 And, 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 and what a yeah. powerful, powerful testimony. So what's what's in the store? What's in store for 2022 in terms of mission trips? Do you have any plans? What, where are you going to go next? Well, if 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 the apostle has trips, then we would <laughs> like, like to go with them. <laughs> okay. Uganda. If you like to, if you like to, but I think that's no question for him. I, I think it's okay. And and we want to start broadcast in Dutch here. Good, yeah. Once a week, and we want to 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 connect here in the Netherlands to 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 make yeah. We have to work. We have to work out. But this this gospel must be spread in Europe. In Europe, yes. If it works in Africa, it works in Europe too. That's right. <laughs> if I, if I, I can preach in Africa, I can preach here. That's right. I heard you <laughs> your debut. So what happened? You were dropped into the deep water once again. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. oh, here's the blonde lady from all the way from Holland. Let's put her on stage. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I took yeah, my yeah. orange dress. <laughs> the orange, yes. I've seen the pictures. That's all I've seen. And, and uh, we were in, the, in, this, in this small building packed with people together with my German uh, 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 friend and colleague <laughs> and Anna. 
and uh, and they asked me to preach, and I said, okay, I'm not, I'm, I did not prepare anything, so uh, so I asked her to give her testimony. That was really powerful, and then I just opened my mouth, <laughs> and uh, uh, out came all the the messages of Apostle Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you are. Uh, yes, I was. I have been hearing this fact uh, uh, for for several weeks, and then I. I thought, several years. <laughs> and I said, uh, uh, "Okay, now I started to to sing that song that we learned in Africa, Shama, and then mm. um, I asked them uh, who wants to be healed, <laughs> and uh, I did it." Uh, the, in a different way, <laughs> I said to them, okay, I count to three, and <laughs> three times, and shout hallelujah, and then uh, at your heels. So that happens. And and joy broke out oh, in, that, in, that, in that meeting. I mean, as two came out to, to testify uh, right away, and I heard uh, afterwards that many, many others were healed there. And the whole worship team helped us in the meetings in, yeah, uh, in, yeah. uh, in Nairobi and Embu. They even came to Embu to help us. Yeah. So th that was the, fr the fruit of it. It's Absolutely amazing. beautiful. Yeah. Yes, well, and-, and He said to me, he yeah. said to me, uh, uh, yes, I asked you to to uh, to minister the word because you never know who God is sending, mm -hmm. and that is an attitude. That's true. Except Frederick. <laughs> yes, and and she's Fre Fre Frederica, so that yeah, was so lovely. Right. Well, well, his name was Frederick, and your name is Frederica, so. Yeah. Yes, and and I was in church. The, the, you can't preach. You say, okay, it's yeah. fine. But I always think an, an opportunity. So happen after the service, we had a meal together. And then he told, yes, Apostle Charles isn't here. He said, oh, but you are. really? <laughs> really? So well, he's not only in here. He takes nations. He's a businessman. And so I explained him a lot of Apostle Charles. Mm -hmm. And his eyes were wide, right, wide, right, wide. Right. Yeah. So, it was nice to do that behind the stage. Uh, and I, I saw the pastor thinking, oh, there's more. Mm -hmm. There are more possibilities than only healing, you know? And, and it's also to restore. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. People need to keep an open mind and they must stop the religious nonsense. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. That face a lot of problems if you haven't a religion mind. If you are free. Hmm? Wow. <clears throat> I heard uh, on one of the meetings Jesus appeared. Can you touch on that? Yeah. <clears throat> That's my favorite part of the whole story. <laughs> yeah. It, it was in it was in the Bukavu, and we had a lot of hardship coming there. And um, is that in Burundi? Yeah, no, no, no in, in Congo, Congo. Congo. In Congo. Okay. And uh, Apostle Faith uh, was there powerful. I mean, she was standing there. She prayed a prayer against all the bloodshed, against all the rape, all the, all the, all the suffering. Uh, she addressed all this in the name of Jesus. That was really yeah. Yeah. strong, was it? Really and, strong. And then they sang the song Shama Shama uh, uh, Adonai. Elohim Adonai. Elohim Adonai. Shama, Shama is he is here. Mm -hmm. and that what it means that he is here. Yes, Shama means he is here. Wow. And then and then uh, Apostle Faith, she she was. She was spinning. spinning. She, she stood up on her chair. She was spinning around and she fell on the floor. And I felt this, this presence of Elohim Adonai. And, and I started weeping, sobbing, really. And I heard Apostle Charles say, I step aside because he's here. And, and 
I don't remember anything yeah. of that moment because I was so, I was, I was, he was there, you know, I could feel him. I could, I could not see him with my, my eyes, but I, I, but some people saw him. Wasn't that true? Yeah. Yeah. She said, Apostle Faith saw him. Apostle Faith saw him. I, I take care of her because she was spinning so yes. hard that I, I don't want that she will hurt herself. She told, I saw Jesus. The translator saw Jesus. The translator saw Jesus in such a strong way. He told him, Jesus, I like to see you, but please let me stand here. <laughs> please let me stand here. He was, <laughs> he was holding so. Um, and Apostle Charles saw Apostle him. Charles. Of course. And, and it was you, you, tell, you told me people were on the floor. Because yes, I, many people are on the floor. I did not get that because I was so, <laughs> I was, I was, I was with him, you know. I, I didn't know how long it, 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 it was. I couldn't, I cannot remember anything else. But there was such a presence and even in the presence, it not only love, but an, an holiness of love yeah. and an atmosphere of light. That's how to explain it. An atmosphere of light. It, it's not, yeah, and love is in that light. Love is in that presence. Love is in all of that. So I have saw, yes, that was my experience, light. I didn't see him real, but I saw um, I ex experienced the light around us, around in the audience. And the translator told us later, he didn't came from the door. He was in the middle of the audience. He, like he showed up in the middle of the audience. Wow. It was wonderful. When two or three gather, he is in the midst of them. He is. In the midst. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> really in the midst. Yes. It's, really in the midst. But it's, it is so it is so amazing to really experience it. Yes. Because you believe it. Yes. That he is, but uh, but but to feel him, I mean <laughs> I I thought it was worth all the the hardship of the trip that was of course. all the, the standing in the rain and the and the in the, in the mud in the at the border it was worth it all wow. and 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 you have, you ask us about 2020 2020 2000 yeah 22 22 <laughs> uh, um it's not only to to work and to do things i i i I have a really expectation to see the Lord more and more. Yeah. What yeah. we have saw in Bukavu is wonderful. And, and, and it's wonderful to see him, to experience him, to feel him. And, and, and I told the Lord for 2022, I want to see you more. I want yeah. to see you more. That's my Amen that. only question to him. Lord, I love you so much. I want to see you more. Because if you see him, you one moment you see him, you, you changed. Yes. And that's what the world needs. Very true. That they see Jesus in us. And we, there's a song, Nothing Else Matters. Mm -hmm. Something, mm -hmm. what I, nothing else matters when you see him. That's true. And, and, and when you have the encounters, that is work how you call it, not an issue. You are doing it yeah, from right. the encounter, you know? Many people work hard for the Lord, but we have to cooperate with the Lord, not work hard for the Lord, but to cooperate with him. Lord, what were you saying? That's right, because in, in, um, in um, uh, how you call it? I only know it in Hungarian. <laughs> <laughs> in English. Uh, the book of the apostles the book in the book of the apostles it says um every day the holy spirit was working with the apostles yes it? <clears throat> yes so just like you said it was a cooperation he yeah. was working alongside of them yeah right supporting whatever they were working supporting whatever yeah. they were doing so that, yeah. that's the relationship you are referring to yeah right Hallelujah. Wow.
So that's what we have to look forward to in 2022 and beyond. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, and it's, of course to travel with Apostle Charles because yes, of course. I, I, it's not only to travel with him, but also I love to support that man too. Of course. It's, it's not only fun and joy, it's fun and joy, of course, yeah. but it's also to um, support him. To, of to, course. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it was a good it was a good idea to go with him in those two countries yeah. he, he has never been, and um, the advantage was that we were a little bit elder, so uh, people listened to us, and yes. uh, that that was really an advantage. Yeah, the Kenya ambassador in Burundi told Apostle because he told them that this these are my kids. <laughs> Don't, don't uh, guess, don't guess my age, Apostle oh, Charles. Right. So the man was laughing, yeah. laughing, laugh because we are very more older than he. But it was yeah. joy. Yeah. But that just shows that we are coming from a different world, where where this age thing is not the way the world thinks, has nothing to do with it, and uh, even even young people can pastor very big churches. And pastor people like yourselves, you know, in well into their 70s or 80s or 60s or even, you know, older, because age doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Age only matters to these people in the world who are so focused on that. And it mm -hmm. shouldn't be. I mean, it's a manufactured thing. It's not a right thing to mm -hmm. focus on someone's age, mm -hmm. pro or contra. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. Because what matters is in, in the spirit, in the heart. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And, and we need very much people like yourselves well into your uh, 60s and 70s because of your life experience, because of the things you went through, things we have not, not gone through, because of we, we, you know, we are from a different uh, era, so to speak, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. things that you have seen, we haven't, we just heard of it. Mm -hmm. But it's from people like yourself that we need to also derive from. And uh, the wisdom you have is something that you have obtained by going through certain things that we haven't mm -hmm. and that's something that you can really really give your age group not just two of you of course but your age group so i i definitely don't discount people who are above a certain age quite the opposite because you know what can you learn from someone who's a 20 year old nothing <laughs> they haven't worked a day in their lives they probably still in school, living at home, and they haven't been paying their own bills. They have zero life experience. And for the most part, they are unfortunately arrogant. And they think they know it all and they don't. And, uh, you know, they need people like yourselves to put them to their place and to guide them wisely and with love. And that's what mm -hmm. you've been doing. So you guys are very much needed. And I wish we would have many more people like yourself. And we probably will. Because uh, people are, you know, I, I'm getting all the emails. We want to join you. We want to join you. But of course, we we meet the people. We, um, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. we make sure that the right people are here, and they they because you see with your experience, you just showed a little bit about you know how things on a human level are not exactly easy sometimes mm -hmm. on the trips or you know in life. Mm -hmm. But you have to have a passion that brings you through all that, and mm -hmm. you have to have determination which most mm -hmm. people lack, sadly. Mm -hmm. And it's not the first obstacle you see and you run away, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> you, because crisis and hard situations, whether it's in a relationship, as you were telling your story, mm -hmm. or on the road, or things that you meet, unexpected things, unpleasant things, can mm -hmm. either make you or break you. Also mm -hmm. as a couple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Things can either make you or break you. It's easy yeah. to have a wonderful relationship and to have a wonderful cheerful disposition when you have everything going for you when the sun is shining mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. try that in the middle of the jungle oh, and you are in mud <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. and your van broke down <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and having toilets that don't work yeah exactly and that's where the rubber meets the road isn't it that's where that you can distinguish between those who just came along for the ride because they thought it's going to be an experience well you know it is in a way <laughs> an adventure and those who are here because of the heart because of the people and uh um dr and d4 i'm going to refer to him as dr charles so that people would understand but we're going to include the description in the um at the bottom and probably in the comment section so people would know where to find you guys and where to find him and the ministry but um, he was telling that uh, you had this 14-hour-long uh, boat ride, was it? 
Oh, it was. <laughs> what a, happened? Tell me. It was you a had to fine watch journey. The luggages. You had to watch the luggages, kind of like guard the luggages. Yes, because we, we missed uh, the, the luxury boat. Okay. There was another one. And then because of all uh, the misunderstandings all the time, we missed that boat. Okay. And, and they told us uh, Apostle Charles and Apostle Faith are on that boat and you have to go to this. Uh, we have another boat. But happily, it was not that uh, the case. Because yes. they stayed with us. And then uh, that was this boat, this rusty boat. <laughs> <laughs> People were selling uh, water and, and uh, fruits uh, when we had to go in. It was a real African style before the boat, yeah, okay. before you can enter the boat. I was glad to have some African people around me to okay. help us out. Yeah. Yes. So, the, the, the luggage went somewhere, <laughs> we went somewhere, we didn't know where, we, we ended up on, on the second uh, floor, and uh, and then we finally found out that was a luggage, and then the boat already uh, went, we saw we saw it moving, so. So we, quick. We looked, yeah, because they were glad we were in it. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and there was uh, a little hut where Apostle Charles could 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 go. Uh, he had to pay someone who wanted to for that money. He wanted to go out. <laughs> there was another hut for us, like with two beds, with Solomon on top, but he didn't want. <laughs> and then uh, there was inside was a was a, a place where where people sat or slept or. Eat. Eat, but we we did not know. Sweat. <laughs> Sweat, <laughs> eat, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and uh, Apostle Charles said, Frida, you have to go, come in. So I went So the smell was not nice there. <laughs> uh, so finally we went out and, uh, and, mm. and uh, yeah, it was only one big uh, uh, car on the, on the boat, nothing else. And uh, and a lot of people, and uh, uh, the stars were wonderful. <laughs> wow! So it was at night. It yeah, was, it's yes, at it, night. Was at it was night. wonderful. Yes, but we did not. I did not realize actually that there were no life jackets or or life boats. Or rest, nothing. I did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A man would pay attention to these details, right? But then I was silent. Women, women just enjoy the scenery, the beautiful stars. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes of course. course. Well, this is the raw African land. <laughs> 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 Much better than the luxury cruise ship. <laughs> so, uh, well, I slept like a baby in that. Uh, it's just a very well. <laughs> and I was even mad that Alexander did not uh, wake me up uh, for the uh, sunrise <laughs> on the on the lake. It was. Uh, I was not afraid. No. Alexander knew that were that there were boats um, uh, lost in the, in the in that uh, area. I don't tell her. And I was <laughs> Very wise. And dad, did, and, and dad knew that also. He told us as, afterwards that he was praying the whole night and, yes. and looking for solutions if something went wrong. Taking responsibility of his team. Yes. He yeah. was really uh, responsible for us. No crocodiles in the water? Pardon? Hmm? No crocodiles. Yes, of course they were. I, I they think were, they were. Of course. What? what? Crocodiles. Of course, there must yes. be alligators. Yes, they have to be there. Yes, they have to be there. Okay, so that too. But but when they see us, no hunger anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is just it, it's it's just it's just amazing. It's over the top. No, there was only one toilet. <laughs> it was pretty. Oh, it was, it was pretty okay. And uh, and we had no no water, no food the whole night. Nothing. A little bit of water yeah, was to take bit. with us. So yeah. Was okay. So and 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 the, the Simon, the apostle, the evangelist, yeah. African man, 
and Solomon and uh, uh, another man. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> who went with us from Burundi to Congo. He, he traveled with us. He wants to help us. Really, really wonderful man. Yeah. They stayed with the leathers. And, wonderful uh, people. Apostle Faith was also sleeping. And uh, sometimes we were up on the on the deck looking at the at the stars, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, this is quite an adventure. It was, it was. Did you take lots of pictures? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Shanta was not allowed to take pictures. They they sued him. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? What happened? They were not allowed to take pictures. Oh, that was by the border of no, Congo. Was also in the ship. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah but, but people don't want to that you have them on the picture. Ah. Okay. So, there were no tourists, no whites. So no so so, so make a picture from Solomon and and the man, but. I take two other persons too, and then they were very upset. Yes. Okay. But I didn't uh, understand it for that moment. Later, I understand. Yeah, okay. Maybe we were the only whites on the on the boat, of course. First time I feel white. <laughs> <laughs> this happened to me many times in Africa. I have to tell you a funny story. Just just to think, just to show the audience, and I mean how differently we think we don't think like humans no and, uh, we were going to taiwan for the first time we went several times after that but this was our very first time in uh in taiwan and it was only a fast on myself and it took about 14 hours no 24 hours to get there because we had to change planes four times one in japan one in something else something else something else and it was in the last leg of the trip on the way to taiwan and everybody was Taiwanese, of course, because they were probably going home back to their own. I was the only white. And of course, I sat next to a pastor who was black. Mm -hmm. And I turned to, <laughs> still to this day, it's a running joke in the family. I turned, uh, we were obviously very tired. At least I was. I turned to him and said, and I whispered to him, have you noticed that we are the only whites here? <laughs> <laughs> And I didn't realize what I was saying. And then he just looks at me, you know, his big eyes even bigger. Like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> we are the only whites here. And I meant it. What I meant to say was that we are the only ones who are not Asians. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, why, I love that. I express it. But this was all because before this whole, you know, PC nonsense, you know, whatever mm -hmm. racist, whatever BS they're trying to push on people. Mm -hmm. But it was just so funny that we don't think race, we don't think any of these. Uh, and another story is that, and of course, then when I explained what I meant, he just started laughing. So ever since that time, we, this is like a running joke in the family. So tell us, how was it? How was it being the apostle, being the only white in the place? <laughs> <laughs> that's yes, how the story goes. Is... And another instant, we were in Pretoria. Um, uh, apostle, of course, a, a black guy from the church, and um, and from um, I think I think she lives in California, but she's Asian, you know, of first Asian, and and the, and of course the two black men and myself being white. And we spent about two weeks there. Only that was the, that was our team, our team that we took from somewhere else. Other than that, we had local teams, of course, that we trained and things like that. So we spent about two two weeks there, I believe, in in Pretoria, South Africa. And uh, on the way, we had again, we had to you know change several times planes. I think I think I flew from Dubai. So on the last leg, when I when we came back from uh, Pretoria to probably Dubai, and then everybody had to go their own way because the Americans who came from the states went to i think amsterdam and i flew to i think france and then from france or whatever you know some or, or i could have could have been like a direct flight back to budapest i can't remember and uh, that's so we spent like two weeks together and uh and on the last leg of the trip as we as they came out i was waiting for them to come out of the plane and uh uh that's when i noticed that oh my goodness i it just occurred to me that we are all from different race it never occurred to me before. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny. Another instance that I remember, we had a Chinese guy from actually from Hong Kong, but uh, he grew up in California. So Cheng, Apostle and myself, all from different nationalities, looking very different. And we went to Canada. And as we entered, again, nothing ever occurred to me. 
And uh, as we entered and the, the guy uh, looks at our passports in Canada, he goes, what is a Hong Kong guy with a Nigerian guy and, and a Hungarian do in, you know, it's like, what do the guys have in common? <laughs> <laughs> But up to that point, it never occurred to me to think that way. But that's how the world looks at us and thinks yeah. that way because mm -hmm. they have no they have no concept of what the people from very different backgrounds, very different you know, life walks of life have in common. Mm -hmm. But what we have in common is Jesus, of course, and oh, the man. purpose we go yeah. to every places because it's I think it's rather uncommon to find a lot of nationality coming together and go to yet another country that none of us is calling home, you know, so like a completely different era. And, uh, and I think it's very funny that just to see the contrast, how people like looking at us and we, we have become a, a sign and a wonder to the world. Yeah, they look at us like, what are you guys doing here? Why aren't you back in your nice little, you know, country yes. forever doing, you know, your vacation or, you know, going to fashion shows or whatever. But that's because we have passion, isn't it? To it is. teach the last. Yeah. And that overrides everything, even discomfort or unpleasantries or momentary, yeah. you know, the uh, unpleasant situations or a, a, a boat for 14 hours with crocodiles and alligators in the water and with no life boats. <laughs> 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 you have to have passion to do all that, isn't it? Yes. And, and you're even paying for it. So it's important to say ah, you're right. <laughs> that it they don't pay us for this. <laughs> we pay, okay? So we don't yeah. do it for money. Not for money. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got, I got one reaction of uh, somebody who said, "Oh, nice, you, you, you over winter there." I said, "Over winter." <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, yeah, people just don't think like us, or rather, we don't think like them. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing because our passion just carries us through all these hardships, and really, yeah. we can laugh about it and. As a lot of things we do, and obviously we can fill a lot of books with all the stories and life experiences we had, but it was all worth it. It always is, isn't it? It, it was. And, and, and thinking about all those people we, we've been reaching, all yeah. those people who were healed, all those people who heard the gospel, maybe for the first time, maybe, yeah, re in real that was... How many people would you say have made the commitment to follow Jesus? Yeah, the... Uh, Apostle Faith said 32,000. So I heard 38. <laughs> 38. Okay. Heard 38. That's better. That's better. So, so 38 is better. <laughs> and these are just the ones that we know of because there's certainly a lot of people that we don't know of. It's just some of the ones who filled out the card. Yeah. Right. You know? the, don't the, know how many people are they telling to when they go home. Uh, we, uh, I haven't seen many papers. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was just, but. Uh, when, when Apostle Charles asked them, who wants this miracle life? Everybody was... Of course, no one would say no for that. So, so it's not accept the Lord or pray the sinner's prayer, but who wants this miracle life? I like that because it puts it into perspective, yeah. into tangible perspective. No one would say no to that. No. No one would say no to that. I would say yes. <laughs> Well, well, well when, 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 when I came to the Lord in 1975, I didn't pray in sin, sin or prayer. I didn't walk, I didn't, I didn't know about sin. I didn't know about wrong or just, but not about yeah. sin. So I asked Jesus, come in my life. Yes. And that's all. But I did not know about a miracle life. <laughs> but then, then the journey starts. Yeah. And it's it's amazing what happening happening happens is happening. is happening then in in my life from that moment on yeah. because first moment I I ask I said Jesus I will share my life with you I don't understand it but I do the moment I say that. I hear a lot of trumpets and I saw it. Wow. Okay. A lot of row of trumpets because uh, our former queen married in a church in Amsterdam. And it was impressing for me that all the, when she came in with her, her bride room, there were trumpets on the roof. Okay. They were trumpeting in the 
church. Maybe it's an outer church, but it's a romantic uh, thing about me. So I hear the trumpets. That was my first start. Wow. So, and then it's going on. The prince to be was. It was, it in. was, <laughs> and, and, and even in Africa, in as, as far as, 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 as couple, you have to, to let the other shine, uh, give room to each other. Yes. To let the other shine when she can preach. Like, Hallelujah. That's uh -huh. good. You know, it's, 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 let the other shine. It's not my choice. No, no, it's okay. Well, you could have said no, but I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was your choice because, you know, it was the opportunity for yeah, I said yes, yes yeah, you of, of course. As well as you should. Of course, you have to. That's beautiful. It's, it's good to do this. And I love to preach. So. <laughs> yes. So, so when are you going to preaching again? She, she's a very when good will preacher. You, when will you preach again? Can we come to Budapest? <laughs> Anytime. You're not that far from you guys, so. Thank you so much, uh, Frida, and of course, Alexander, for sharing your beautiful life story, even though it's just a part of it. I know the audience will be happy, happy to hear it because people need hope and encouragement and uplifting now more than ever. And your love is going on strong, love for each other, and of course, love for the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Who is the foundation of your faith and also your relationship? Because that's important that our, the, the relationship has to have a foundation, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, and when the foundation is Jesus, then of course it will stand. If the foundation is a quicksand or, you know, I like the person or I don't like the person or, you know, mm -hmm. it will never stand, which is probably the reason why many of the marriages fail, unfortunately. But that's mm -hmm. the recipe to, you know, to have a happy, fulfilled life, even through hardships and circumstances. Mm -hmm. And you guys been through thick and thin and you guys stick together and the problems and obstacles only made you guys stronger. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we discussed, you know, obstacles and and hardships and crisis can make you or break you but in your case it actually made you made you stronger made you more resilient it gave you enormous life experiences which you can mm -hmm. learn about and you can share your wisdom of and uh mm -hmm. actually uh but you are um before we winding down um you you guys have a, a small group that you are um actually having your home isn't it so you are providing yeah, yeah. care yeah. and love yes for we have so wednesday, wednesday evening we uh, wednesday evening yeah, yeah. We, we, it was also uh, always mm. on thursday but we uh, i think we have now kae budapest <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes. Yes. Yeah, so but that's we, wonderful. Yes. So you are already giving and already practicing locally what you have learned yeah. internationally. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. Five years already. Yeah. That's how many years now? A long time. Cool. I think four or five years. Five, four, In the home group here. Yes, yes, yes. Four or five years. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. And people are growing and you see a lot of change. Yeah, no longer because, because yeah, we, no, we have we had a uh, on and off. We have that yeah. always. <laughs> people come and they build up and they go. Yeah, and they uh, go. People come and, and they build up and they go. Yeah. So it's a some trend transito uh, <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's fine. They, they come and go. Tosito Harbor. <laughs> Tosito Harbor. But it, it's, a, it's a safe home for them to come, to be yeah. built up, to be uplifted and strengthened. And then when they are able to fly on their own, they just fly up. And the new ones are coming. They're providing the place for those, for, yes. the, for those who are needing it the most. Yes, some people stay for 10 months. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for all you do. And thank you so much for coming on this show. And I know that your testimony will minister grace to the hearers. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell the audience where to find you, if you have a website or if you have a, a channel that you want to share, where they can yeah, find yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, yes, but it is in Dutch, so Freud and Freiheit. You will give it to me in writing, and then yes. I will just put it there because that's yes. yes. Okay. Maybe we can translate okay. it in English yes. too. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so you can you can reach because most of the viewers I think are English speakers here. So right, but, uh, you can just point them to that to your website, and I will just put it down in the description. Yes, yes, and, yes. And yes course, on Facebook <laughs> or either uh, or you know just be, we can reach out to you, and then you can. Yes, help yes because yeah, because uh, I, I use Facebook to to fish people yes, out. <laughs> <laughs> so they say, oh, Everything yes. else is just fluff. 
everything yeah. else is just you know <laughs> movies here this there you know whatever but the main purpose is we're using this show this very show as well as a tool yeah. amen because that's that's what we do i mean you know amen. others for it for different use it for different purposes but our goal is never change we're just changing the tools as it as it seems best to us at the moment mm -hmm. wonderful yeah, yeah. good well, yeah. god bless you thank you so much for joining me i love you guys and I will talk to you guys, I guess, on Tuesday, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. We will see each other. I love you guys. I mean, missed you so much when you were not present because you were in, in Africa. So yeah, much. of course. Really missed. Love you. God bless you. Yeah. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye.